My mom put me on birth control when it was the appropriate time. It's just like certain things What that, was the appropriate time? Well, 12, <laughs> no. <laughs> DC Cab is yeah, still believe, very popular. There's a lot of classic movies that I've never seen. Like That just, is hardly a classic movie. <laughs> Hi. How you so doing? Nice, well, nice to meet you. I, I've been a fan of yours. Oh my and god. And then I read about you controversially and oh, I yeah. say, you know what, I have to, <laughs> I am Hollywood's ombudsman to when people get into trouble. Yes, I've of course. I've re rehabilitated many people like Kathy Griffin and not that you need rehabilitation, no, but I'm when sure I, I saw you get into trouble for something, we don't have to talk about it right now, but like, we can. I was like, oh, I always wanted to meet you. You're, you're good at what you do. Thank you. And, uh, and now, and your podcast, what is just, it's just girls, right? No, it's oh. actually not. It's, it's a little girl heavy, but it's not just girls. Oh, it's anyway. I thought it was girls like talking it, about the things I mean, that only they can say. We do do that a lot, right. but yeah, no, we, we have everybody. It's just kind of like, why a can't I say it? Say what? Whatever the. Whatever. Yeah, why can't you say it? I'm just asking why. Whatever <laughs> girls are saying that I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> I why like can't you I can say? can and you should. I feel like we make too many, um, you know, lanes and lines. Like, of course. How could you possibly? There was a lady who wrote a book. A lady, a fine author. Yeah. <laughs> who wrote a book. What was it called? Oh, it was called American Dirt. Okay. And I, I it was a white it. lady yeah. who imagined what it would be like to be a Mexican immigrant, you know, which we used to call empathy. I, I think that was right. a noble thing. And Oprah did too, until the world came down because like, how could you, white lady, know, right. well, I can't, but I'm imagining to try to like get under your skin and not feel in a sympathetic way. Right. Well, I mean, it's like the same thing, even with acting, like, you know, nobody can play anything else. Same thing, it's right. The same exact thing, right? It's just, there's a lot of sensitivity. Right, God forbid you're in West Side Story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> next thing they'll tell us is, well, you I mean, know, street gangs don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> they should, you know? I really feel like they should. I think it would solve a lot. But yeah, I think that it's just all part of it. And it's, there's just so much sensitivity and you have to be so careful and all of that. But Have you run into that in... Acting like anything that you like, they said, well, you can't do that because you're this? No, not not yet. You know, I think that there are people that like you can't play, uh, let's say you're in a wheelchair or something. It's like, no, well, <laughs> well I, <laughs> you know, like you no, can't. That, definitely don't. Throw, no, <laughs> definitely, they'd be very mad at that. They'd be that. very, very mad, which of course, you know, but then you look at all the things that have happened in history with movies and whatnot and performances and so it's like where where is the line drawn i don't really know well it's also i think bad for uh the people who are actually in the wheelchair or trans say like right you know you're not supposed to play trans unless you are right but that's not a good deal for the trans person or the wheelchair person if it works in reverse you really only want to play well, right. I guess you only can. Well, play yeah. <laughs> well I think that. But, one but is that a doesn't limited. have to be the focus of the, the. It doesn't have to be the focus. Right. 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 I mean, for a long time, in every movie where there was a, um, you know, it needed a computer whiz, mm -hmm. it was always a guy in a wheelchair. I don't know why they got that into their head, but I think they. I'm first, trying to think of movies. Well, like I can the first time exactly I saw it was. Um, Kevin Costner, not the guy in the wheelchair, of course. No, yeah. Was, he's in his white Navy uniform. What was Oh, that? God. It's really good. It, uh, he's it's not a few good. That's Tom Cruise, right? A few good. Yeah, movies. that's Tom Cruise. That's Rob That's a Reiner. uniform, but it's not that. No, this is like yeah, No Way Out, about. maybe? I, I won't be able to think of it. It's uh, him and Gene Hackman. Yeah. And they think he's a Russian. He's in the Navy, but they think he's a Russian spy. Mm-hmm. And then he is. Right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert, <laughs> if you were going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of that. I can picture a lot of like men like Kevin Costner, Tom Cruise in uniforms on movie posters. I think that happened a lot when I was growing up. <laughs> what was that? Just like a lot of uh, men in uniforms on movie posters. <laughs> yeah, I think still. I think, you know what? I think maybe you're right. Well, now the uniform is probably spandex. <laughs> <laughs> because they're superheroes. And, you know, when I was younger, there, there was, 
I guess they made Superman movies like every five years, but it right. wasn't. It wasn't just this. wasn't a thing. It wasn't the Marvel universe, right? So the so the no, it was yeah. no universe, right? So the people who, um, uh, you know, were the heroes were people who could you could relate to, right? You know, you can't be Spider Man, no. although plenty you of kids try. fucking, tr- <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. I think looking up to. Superheroes is a little. There are even movies, at least one or two I've seen, where people, I think they're comedies, but they like get a super power, (laughs) super something uniform thing, and they make themselves, but they're just the guy who works at the 7 Eleven. Yeah. And then at night they go out, and and I bet you people really. 7 Eleven. (laughs) Whatever they are, and then they they really want to live that life. I mean, men. You know, they they say men are in more crisis now than women. Why do you think they say that? Probably too much drugs. <laughs> well, then that's always, right? <laughs> no. Um, well, because this, I mean, because of what we're talking about a little bit, like the, the, like men, uh, <coughs> they feel lost because there's not a place for them to be <coughs> heroic anymore, you know? They don't, um, and society is geared much more toward um, the skills that women have. In other words, we're not in a muscly society anymore. You know, men used to work at the factory and the plant, and now it's more office work and computer screens and communicative is important. It's It's an information economy. Right. It's not a mill economy. Right. So men lost the thing that they were good at, <laughs> grunt work. Yeah, they're good at swinging axes. And, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that, I mean, I think there's truth to it, you know, and I think because society has changed so much and it's like, oh, I invented an app and I made a billion dollars and then all of a sudden they're now, you know, the most powerful or whatever, you know, they, or they feel like a man because of money, right? I think, I mean, that's probably always been but I feel like now even more so because you look at people like Elon Musk or whoever, you know, and they're doing all these things that are just making billions and billions and then people are looking up, not everybody, but some looking up to that and it's a different thing. And I think that- I look up to that. Well, I mean, we all, I mean, who doesn't <laughs> not, look up to like billions not, of dollars? Not, not, not <laughs> I've, I've learned to like use Twitter judiciously now. Like mm. um, I did a long one about after I saw Barbie yeah. I guess that's going back some months. I did one after a Republican debate. And then I, I, I post stuff that, you know, just, yeah, you know, like you say, you're you're using it to be your own publicist and right. to tell people what, and they want to know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I, but I used to, like, every day try to, like, okay, I'll feed the beast and tweet out some funny little thing. I mean, they're looking for that for me. And, and it's, like, it's just not worth it. The problem with Twitter is anything I want to say on Twitter, I can't say on Twitter mm. because they'll just savage you. Right. And just and the way the society lets the, I'm quite sure they're a small minority, but so powerful, uh, control everything mm-hmm. and control what people think and how they follow like fucking sheep. Right. So it's just like, yeah, could I amuse like 95% of you with no problem? with some little thing, and by it, well, hey, it's a free joke. Right. I remember David Letterman's old girl, Mero Marco, and I shouldn't identify her that way, she's a genius comedy writer, yeah. but that's how people know her. But uh, her books are hysterical, and she said, you know, I finally figured out Twitter, people will read my jokes for free. You know, and yeah, exactly. That's so exactly it. It's like, I'm doing this for free, but then I gotta take all the shit because you got, bent out of shape about nothing. Right. You just look for things to bitch about. Right. And other people are too intimidated to go, that's a stupid thing to bitch about. It's just safer to go, yeah, exactly, I feel the same way. Right. Right, Right. we should not have non-dwarves playing dwarves or dwarves (laughs) playing non-dwarves. I can't remember which one it is, but whatever it is, I'm on the right side of it because I'm an ally of dwarves. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like you are. (laughs) <laughs> I am. Right? I'm an ally of everybody. <laughs> you have to love everybody. Almost everybody except like, you know. What? The rear guard, MAGA nuts. 
we're all, I mean, the way they go after normal liberal people like us, mm -hmm. like as if we're conservatives because we don't quite come up to their stupid, unnecessarily <laughs> uh, stick up your ass regimen. Right. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, but bring yeah. perfect segue. As okay, you can yes. see, this show has great preparation. Oh, that's how I roll. It's perfect. But the thing that got you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The last one about which one? You uh, <laughs> right? There was who do you who are you feuding with now? Oh, uh, oh, Whoopi. Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, Whoopi came after me. I've feuded with her many times. I'm sure many people have, but I would imagine. I don't ever want to or try, and I actually don't take the bait. <gasps> But she, Good. look, look, they have a show five days a week. Right. They got a they get course. They get sent, like, here are the headlines. Right. Here's the clickbait. Choose something to talk about, right? Exactly. It has to be what so it is. So it's good. You gave her something. I gave her then, something to talk about. Right. I, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's the same thing with me. I think they, and, you know, she says her piece, and I like her. There's no, there's, <laughs> there's no, there's no feud there. Feud we don't, agree, you know, and also I'm always preaching, people don't have to agree. They don't have to. We they don't, don't have to listen if they don't uh, want to. And they shouldn't. Right? It would be boring. Yeah, I but, know. But it is, an, it is also exasperating and infuriating when people, they just are so stupid. And they pick things, <laughs> they pick something and they talk about it stupidly. And then you have to like, go, oh my <sighs> God. I know. That's just, and again, I don't think the vast, vast majority of them mean it. They're just, they just have to have don't want to get on the- about. What? They just have to have something to talk about. And also, no one gets canceled for being too woke. Right. That's the problem, is that right. it's just safer to go, yes, I, what was your thing? The, <laughs> <laughs> the, the first one. I have so one. many bills, so like when no, you say, the no, one I that, know. The one, the one that, that Whoopi called me out on? No, no, oh, no. The, the first oh, thing? Yes. Well, there's like the big dick thing, there's the manhandled thing. thing. I mean, really. Manhandle. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> manhandled. <laughs> yes, Bill. Let's talk about being manhandled. manhandled. That's right. <laughs> That's what I read, and it infuriated me <sighs> that you just said something that you like when you're fucking. You like to be manhandled, like ninety five percent of women do. Well, yes. You know what? If I, I would just like to say to all the men, if you're lucky yeah. enough to have some girl <laughs> agree to fuck you, then the woman wants you to do it properly, like I mean, a man. <laughs> Like, not like a boy. Like a man who not used to passing. work in the factories. <laughs> That's right. Swinging axes. You know, swinging axes. Well, my, my best friend right. is my co-host. Her mom is 82, and she was like, everybody wants to get fucking manhandled. <laughs> that was her response. You of know? course. But like, look, in the context Do you of the number? <laughs> Yeah. You want me to hook you up, Bill? Uh, she, but in the context of the conversation, it was just like, we were just talking. And it was, I was being like oh. half funny and like comically, but like, it's, it's, there's no apology necessary know, for any know, of it. I know. It's hard sometimes, though, to not, you know. It's hard not to throw things at the wall. Yeah, spaghetti at the wall all the time. I know. I mean, just because of the double one of it's true. Yeah. And it's unnecessary to get upset about it. So, Yeah. you know, it's it's like... The hypocrisy of that, like, right. not only shouldn't you be bitching about this, but you know you're not even right. Right, right. And if you don't like to get manhandled as a woman, yes, there's What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> um, yeah. No, uh, it, you know, of course there's always, I get it. Kids, I, there's always a spectrum we, of everything in um, se human sexuality. Yes, yes. I think the spectrum they don't talk about enough is uh -oh. the super horny people. <laughs> but I'll get to that in a minute. No, please do. But there are definitely all the way from over here mm -hmm. is, um, what's her name? And she's asexual. I don't know. Uh, Okay, I'm not going to say it because I, I don't want to say it. If I get it wrong, oh, yeah. then, you know. I wish I could help you out. Um, not Eleanor Roosevelt. She was a lesbian. <laughs> no. <laughs> there is a celebrity who's famously asexual. Okay, meaning you have, it's not that you're gay or yeah. you have no interest. It's you have other interests. Right, right. I'd rather be stamp collecting or. Uh, stamp, I like that you go to stamp collecting. <laughs> sports or. Coin collecting, yeah, stamp wine collecting. Wine tasting. I have wine my tasting. friends. I have dinner. Yeah, yeah. Food. Food. You know, yeah. a lot of people are asexual, not by choice. Oh. But these are people who, re <laughs> who really 
Yeah, they're just not that interested. Right. Okay. Other interests. And on the other end, you have nymphomaniacs. Yes. There are truly such a thing. Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. I think porn stars are generally, it's not just, well, it is that. I mean, they're paid a pittance. Yep. They just. They are addicted to sex. Yeah. Yeah. And. Not all. I don't want to. God forbid. I say. No, no, no. We would never say all of it. No, 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 no. no. But yes. Certainly not. There is a form of that. I have a best friend who was in a relationship with a porn star for a very long time. Really? Yes. She didn't know he was actively doing the porn while they were together. Come on. Swear to God. How did she not know? Isn't it stuff to be seen? I mean, yeah. I don't, you know, maybe turn a blind eye, like one of those things. I'm not sure. But it's a friend of yours? Yeah, yeah. Good Mm -hmm. friend? Yeah, one of my best friends. It was an interesting story. I guess everybody has their blind spots. Everybody has their blind spots, you know? I mean, it's it's, yes, that was an interesting story. Fucking a porn star and not knowing. Not knowing. Well, no, I will say she. But when the movie came out, what did he say? You mean one of the hundreds? (laughs) What era is this? Is it when there was actual movies or this like recent? This was like recent. Oh, so videos like that. Online, but yeah. somebody must see it and go, so oh, hey, did see there's it. Ted. Someone did see it and was like, there's Ted, there he is. <laughs> hey. And someone did see it and discover it and oh. was like, hey, <clears throat> right. you know. And we looked and like, that's his fucking hair, like right now. And that's definitely current. And so she discovered it that way. She knew he did in the past. So in all fairness, she knew he right. had been, but didn't know he was active. But she was not a porn star. No. Because very often porn stars marry each other. Is that right? Of course. Okay. You know, like... Um, like actors. Like actors. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sakes. Yeah. <laughs> right. But not you. You've never been married. What happened? What's, what's going on there? Not interested? Not for you? Well, what, let's, let's look at what the possibilities could be. Okay, let's do it. Because one of the possibilities <laughs> is, you know, would make me really not feel good about myself. Why? But, well, you th- what are the possibilities? I didn't want to. Yeah. Or B, no one would have. <laughs> That's the implication of B. When you ask that question, the implication no. is maybe no one would I, ever have wanted to get married to you. No, I automatically assumed it just wasn't for you. I'm fucking with you, but um, <laughs> but I mean, it thing. is funny. People are so locked into. I think the. Or, I've never been married. Never been married. No. But I've you had have long a, term. I have a kid. Right, you yes. have a kid, yes. and yes. yeah, right. And I've had long term. Right. Well, I mean, it turns out how, how long, long how long your yeah. term was. What's long term mean <laughs> yeah. for you, Bill? How was your long was your sentence? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I had one term. <laughs> one term <laughs> for. Yes. Well, this is going back, uh, like late eighties and early nineties for five years. Okay, is that I your longest? At, yes, I was in my mid thirties. It was like the. The time to get married if I was going to do right. it. Right. You, you were nice and fertile. Yes. And, <laughs> you know, you just, anyway. Um, Five years and. Sliding doors, it, you know, sure. the, it didn't happen. And, um, I mean, look, it didn't happen because I just never really could convince my own self I could, I could do it. And I was okay. right. Right. And yet, stupidly, after that, I did, I say stupidly, kind of because... I did get into other long-term, serious, monogamous relationships for three years, two years, three years. Yeah. And I must have known that if I couldn't make that one work, the long one and the at the time that was right and she was great, then was it ever going to be, did I ever really change with not being able to look in the mirror and go, are you sure you're going to be okay <laughs> with only fucking this person for the rest of your life. <laughs> and I never got the... That, never got the, there. the mirror was like... <laughs> <laughs> the mirror The shattered. mirror did a spit <laughs> Um I mean, at least you're honest with yourself. Exactly. Right? And being true to yourself. Although there are relationships long-term that you could, I'm sure, have an open one, and then it's just, you know, no need. Uh, well, need I feel like <laughs> my line on that is always, nobody's that cool. Nobody's that cool. They're not. I mean, it can it can work for a bit, but it, I mean, it's hard enough Long to. Long term, yeah. Somebody's always not getting enough water, as <laughs> my friend Paul Reiser said about showering with another person. Someone's not getting enough water. I love that. 
I know, it was a great joke. That's great. Yeah, and that's like, true. somebody's not getting enough dick in a threesome. <laughs> just just the sex. Well, is... unless it's two guys, one girl, then there's too much dick. Well, <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Don't bring unnatural acts into this <laughs> sacred. Listen, I feel this is a safe space. It is a safe space. You're in the nest. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not for everybody. Anyway, you were right. Yeah. I'm here to Which? tell you about the manhandling. Oh, they you. should never have taken any shit for that. It's a, also the busy bodies. Like what fucking business it of yours? Why do you have to even get into this? Club Random is brought to you by the audio marketing gurus at Radioactive Media. Another year is almost in the books and it seems like every year we go, well, things can't get any crazier and every year we turn out to be wrong. It seems like just a year ago, AI and quantum computing were things that took over the world in movies only. Now it's time to give your business the edge by embracing new mediums to drive up sales and acquire customers by partnering with shows like mine. You can enjoy lower CPMs, elevating your brand in a space away from your competition. Generate up to nine times more leads by combining the power of audio and video channels with text messaging and generate an ROI as high as five, six, or seven to one. The best way to achieve these goals is through the team at Radioactive Media. They create national campaigns on podcasts, terrestrial, satellite, and streaming radio. Club Random has been partnering with Radioactive Media since the beginning, and they can create a customizable campaign for your company's needs. Radioactive Media has an exclusive deal to promote your product on, or service on Club Random with me and save up to 50%. Just lock in your first campaign this year. Go to radioactivemedia.com or text the word RANDOM to 511511. Discover how audio marketing can surpass your current strategies with new and innovative ways that sound better. Go to radioactivemedia.com or text RANDOM to 511511. Text RANDOM to 511511 today to save up to 50% in 2024. Terms, conditions, message, and data rates may apply. It's that time of year for your favorite holiday movies. Maybe yours are It's a Wonderful Life or A Christmas Story or maybe Elf. Mine, mine is Bad Santa. To make these holiday classics, it takes a team of talented people, from actors to editors to props people, the sound crew, and many more. And when it comes to building such a team, whether it's for the entertainment industry or a wide range of other industries, you need to hire the right people. The best way to do that is with ZipRecruiter. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com random. ZipRecruiter helps you find better employees by using a powerful matching tech and then let you send them a personal invite to apply for the job. Make your hiring a little merrier this year with ZipRecruiter. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Just go to this exclusive web address right now to try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash random. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash random. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Well, yeah, but there's, it's it, it, like, who's listening and who has the opinions, you know, and the conservatives who hear that, obviously, like, they can't handle it. And, and, and what are you looking for? Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right over there. <laughs> um, In case there's trouble, I want to gallantly <laughs> throw down my... <laughs> it's very protect, chivalrous. Protect you, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just throw tissues at him. <laughs> Yeah, but I think that it, but that's the whole thing. And the whole thing with our podcast, and I know you're so good about just having a space to talk about whatever it is, you know, and it's just like to come under such scrutiny and like in the spotlight for something like that was, it was kind of mind blowing. And you're right. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm fucking right. And you're right. And (laughs) and it's not, it's not, it's like not even a a minority opinion. And again, I was saying before, the full spectrum, all the way from asexual to nymphomaniac and everything in between. Mm-hmm. I get it. But, like, why pick on people who are somewhere in that spectrum? Right. Any, wherever it is. Even if only 10% of women like to be manhandled. They should have the right to say so. In fact, if it was 10%, they'd probably defend you because then you were a minority. <laughs> but you're not a minority. No, yeah, I don't what, think anyone I talk uh, to agrees. Well, I'm well, not saying everybody, but there's a lot of you know, mean, support. If you, just, if you just like look in the media and shit, you would think, 
we were all now gay or trans or mm -hmm. fluid or spectrum, mm -hmm. something. We're just, right. but really, I don't know. I feel like, first of all, humans don't evolve that quickly. Women, yeah. as I as I see around me, they're they're kind of the same as they always were. Yeah, they're mostly into guys, yeah. not all. Right. And I don't, you know, lesbians are, go to lesbian bars or something. I'm not going to see them. Right. And so, I, but I understand that that's a real thing, and they're out there, and great. But like most, I mean, the Bachelor's still on. The Golden that Bachelor should, is now on. Yeah, every Bachelor, there's like 15 <laughs> Every of version of The Bachelor. So there's got to be something to the same old. Right. And it is, they still, women, and they still want the roses and the. Yeah, and the, and, and the manhandling. And Very the manhandling. Is what you're trying they to say. They do not want someone, if you like I say, if you're going to give up the pussy, yeah. you do not want someone to do it badly. <laughs> At least then do it correctly. Don't pass if out you're some. You're going to take the time. <laughs> right. Don't pass out some weak shit. Right. I really respect everything you're saying. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just backing you up. I appreciate the support. I, I really do. I appreciate you appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be nice to the nice. <laughs> no, but it's such a silly thing. You such know? a stupid thing. It is. Even like what Whoopi called me out on. Okay, so what was that? She, I said, now, I, the whole conversation, if you listen to it, I said, I think it's weird if a guy's in his 40s and only slept oh, yeah. with like a few people. I maybe said four. I meant more like two. And then I backed it up and I was like, hold on. I take that back. That sounds judgmental. What if they were married or long term or just a late bloomer? Like, that's totally fine. So I like or backtrack. Some people, okay, there's another one in, yeah. in there. I mean, of course, this is completely antithetical to my own life. But, yes. <laughs> but there are people who I've heard men say this, and it, there's some backing to this scientifically that. If you just have start with one person, stay yeah. with that one person, you don't, for the rest of your life, are always tempted by this idea of mm. there's others because there's something about some mental barrier there where there is only one. Whereas, right. you know, it's like if you have, if you right away have three or four lovers, you're like, oh, there's already a relativity to sex right. that right. you can never erase. Right. Like it could always be better or be different, mm -hmm. or, you know. Yeah. I think it's stupid, but <laughs> if I'm just <laughs> trying to say ridiculous. there is, but I get it. So you backtrack. Yeah, I backtrack even in the conversation. Right, so when which, she called out the one line, I was like, hold on. If you're going to take the time to like call me out, almost felt like shaming in a weird way, because that's like a big thing now, you know, right. like shaming, whatever. Of course. I was like, hold on. But if you listen to the whole conversation, I immediately say, wait, I'm not judgment. I, I am all about whatever works for right. people, you right. know? It was just like us just fucking shooting the shit and just being like. And I, I and also it's like, and I've gotten into, I mean, I lost the whole show for something that everybody knew what I me meant mm -hmm. and even, and didn't even say what they were, they were implying mm -hmm. something, but there's no benefit of the doubt. And that was like right. 20 years ago, given right. to people who just like, I know what they meant. Yeah. Of course you do, you fucking phonies. <laughs> you absolutely know what they meant. Right. You're lying. I normally don't respond when I get called out for things, right? You shouldn't. I don't. Don't, don't give them the, they don't deserve the satisfaction. Right, I don't. But then again, it's like, all right, well, if you're talking about my podcast and I said something, let me respond because it's just going to like bring more people to maybe hear the conversation of course. in the first place. No. You so strategically, sending, you should be sending them a fruit basket. I should because, be sending Whoopi a right. fucking Christmas present. Is what right. I should be doing. You know. Look, you got on this show. I got on this. <laughs> I got on this fucking show. I should have brought you a fruit basket. <sighs> I will. I'll send one. Um. Ah. It might be scored more myself like a fruit basket. Pop brownies, me. but you know. So so why did your marriage not work? I wasn't ever married. I mean, you're you're uh, <laughs> with a, the long, long term. Yes. I mean, it must have been long if you had a, a kid. It was 11 years, yeah. 11 years? <laughs> You're oh, like, wow. Does that, are you okay? Do you need, I'm, you're already sitting <laughs> no, down. No, <laughs> but that's like, you know. That's long. Yeah, that's. That's, that's the that's, definition that's, of a long-term relationship. But that's probably the average of what a marriage lasts. Absolutely. I'm pulling that out of my ass. No, but I think. But I mean. 11, 13, yeah. like, you know. It's no, that's, I mean, first of all, they, they, they identified something called the seven-year itch. Yeah. Back in the 50s. In the fucking that 50s. That was the Marilyn Monroe movie yes. with her skirt That's blowing right. up. That's right. That's right. Um, yes, you've never gotten there. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, and every anyone who gets there uh, has my respect in a certain way, 
but also, I mean, first of all, again, back to the spectrum. We all have diff we're all different places on the spectrum. Right. Some of us are, I know plenty of guys who are like, they, it's not they never had sex. They're just not, that's not the main thing in the marriage right. or, the, or the life. Right. You know? Yeah. I asked a friend of mine, a very old friend, and I said, well, you know, this is, I don't know, 10, 20 years ago, but we were already in our 40s or 50s or something. And I said, what? You know, I guess we were talking about marriage and shit. And, yeah. And I, and, and I said, well, what is, you know, your sex life like now? Honestly, I can talk to you about mm -hmm. it. Or I wouldn't ask this to a lot of people. And he said, sex is like a pleasant surprise. <laughs> and I thought, that is not good enough for me. <laughs> I, it just isn't. And I mean, a lot of people, there's truth to a lot married of jokes. people, there is completely sexless marriages. Yeah. Then there's, you, you fuck on your birthday, your anniversary, that's Valentine's sad. Day. Well, oh, I can't say that's sad because the people that have that, it's, it's their thing. See, it's like every time you say something. Exactly, and I'm saying people on, on that end of the spectrum yeah. are different than say Mick Jagger. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> Correct. I, I was staying at a hotel in Amsterdam in 1999. Yeah. At the same time as the Rolling Stones. Oh my God. And I remember just looking out the window. Yeah. And seeing this parade all day long of girls going into that hotel. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know you were going to say going into the hotel. In and out. Like him. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm just saying some people are more revved up that way. Yeah. And some people also just don't, you know. Everybody's different. They can't, some people can accept like, and again, I don't want to be judgmental, but like perfunctory sex. Mm -hmm. That's a really <laughs> funny word. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Married sex. No, I, I don't want, I'm sure there are some. Married people who were, you know, really lighten it up. But <laughs> in general, I don't think I'm the only one who has experienced a diminution in, uh, you know, passion as things go over time. Right. Especially if you see each other every day. It's very every common. Every day. Yes, it's very common to kind of fall into a pattern or whatever. And I think that is the majority of people in long term. But I have friends that are married and they're still like three times a week. And you're like, that's fucking, that's a lot for a long term marriage. And how do you know this? Because they tell me. Because I ask the question. Well, Just because there? they tell you. <laughs> Doesn't mean I think it's they're true. lying. No, I know the ones that are lying, and I know the ones that actually do. Because <laughs> there's definitely ones that are lying about it. But you have to admit, married couples yeah. are absolute geniuses. At um, they can be fucking beefing with each other like incredibly mm -hmm. when they go out in front of other people. They are now a team again, right? Because like how many marriages blow up, and everyone's like. I didn't have, I had no I idea. I didn't see it coming. Like they keep it under wraps. What do you think that is? So well. Yeah. Because they're embarrassed by it. Oh, right. Like a failure thing. It's like a failure thing. And so with the, they, and you think, oh my God, this couple, I thought they were like so doing great. Right. They, they put on just such an amazing show yeah. until it blows. Right. And then it's like, what? Meryl Streep has been separated for six years? Oh, that's right. <laughs> you know, just six like years. That. Oh, it happens all the time. But right. I've seen it happen to people in, you know, my life, and I'm like, yeah. well, I'm not a naive guy. Right. And you have no idea, and then it's and I'm, yeah. shocked. The married yeah. couples are... Yes, it, it, well, we wouldn't know, personally. I feel like 11 years, you know more than I do. <laughs> I definitely know more than I, you and do. You, and, we, and a kid. <laughs> and a kid, yeah. I have a few things... And living together, right? ...on the right? totem pole. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. See, I never, I did that You didn't one. even live with the five-year? Yes, the last year. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then that's why it ended. <laughs> it's not really why it ended, but it's like, it's like think, people do things to save the relationship, and they're usually the worst things you can do, mm -hmm. like have a baby or <laughs> let's move in together. I mean, right. it's like you're doing the opposite. Um, it's like when doctors used to put dirt in the wound. It's not helping. You know what I mean? It's you're, you're doing the opposite of what would help this. You should get away from each other, right. not have a baby. The, you know, we thought the baby would bring us together, yeah. but it just, it just sat oh, there no. crying. It didn't lift a finger. Or no, it's like ask it took the, your place in the bed. Is what it did. Have you ever had a dog with a partner? Oh, 
Well, I don't oh. know. Oh, I, I mean... thought you were just going to say, do you have a dog? Like, I what? definitely always have dogs. <laughs> dogs are wonderful. Do you have a dog? Your dogs are wonderful. But a shared dog, I mean, that is a, that's the next step of commitment. But I'll tell you something. What? You know what? What? Pets. Yeah. Apropos to what we were just talking yeah. about. And I love pets. I'm a Peter Board member. I have been since the 90s. Are you? Absolutely. Animals is my love. Oh. But when married couples yeah. are in that phase where they've lost the spark, yeah. pets are actually not good. <laughs> I've seen it. You know why? Why? Because the people put all their affection into the pet. To the pet. Like, a lot of it is like, even if you're not fucking like rabbits anymore, yeah. okay, you don't have to hold hands, you can hold hands and touching and, but when that goes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it goes into the pet. Yeah. I've seen Mary, where each yes. one has their chair and each one has the pet in their lap. Yeah. And you're, you're, the focus is going wrong. It kind of happens with kids too. Yes, I'll bet it does. <laughs> Right. I have news for you. I forgot about yep. children. <laughs> children, little people. <laughs> Literally yeah. all of you goes right. into that. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just the truth. And the, I mean, that, for me at least. No, that is that is the way to be a mom. That, you, you know gotta, what? You got to do it all the way. <laughs> that's right. I mean, a lot of our problems, I feel, um, in society is bad parenting. It, it just all starts with bad parenting. I mean, it's the biggest thing. And for me, it's always number one. Like, that comes before absolutely everything. And that's why it was so hard to figure out even coming here. Because, like, I, you know, right. it's her and I'm a single parent and, like, you know, logistics and whatnot. But it's the most important thing in the fucking world. Just well, creating this human. I'm sure she's safe even though you're here, right? <laughs> no, she... She's actually in the car. She's on her iPad. <laughs> you didn't leave her on the road, no. did you? <laughs> She's just directing traffic <laughs> outside. You know, I tell you, you put a screen in their hands, they're never going to Oh, know. my God. They don't she even know be, you're no. gone. She'd be sitting, like, right here on her <laughs> iPad and just have no clue. It'd be like, yeah, fucking, manhandling? She would have not right. right over her head. So she's, but she's a good kid. And, yeah, that's the, it's the most important thing in the fucking world. You couldn't, I wouldn't. And, this, and you have a girl? Yeah. She just turned nine. Oh, my God. I know. She's getting old. It's kind of crazy. Well, it's certainly, sweet. it's certainly not too young. I mean, I say this like I know anything. Yeah. I think it's not too young to be cognizant of all the pernicious things that are out there in our society. I, I mean, obviously she. Well, I don't know. Does she have a phone? No. Oh, great. No. Oh, but a lot of nine-year-olds do. Nine. I couldn't agree with you more. But you think I'm... you think parents. I mean, yeah, look, and there's there's certain situations that you might need it, like if they're always away from the parent or home into contact, they're, you know, and they have watches or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. But, no, I'm holding off on that for as much as possible. She doesn't even get her Good. iPad. She only had got her iPad, like, for airplane rides for the longest time. And then, you know, her friends are playing games. She wants to play with them. So, of course, I'm not going to be the parent that's like, no, because then they just want it more. And so we have a good balance. I mean, she watches TV. I... That, all that stuff, I get it. I support people like, screen time, screen time. But I'm like, if she wants to fucking watch TV, I watched so much TV as a kid, and I'm fine. TV is fine. TV it's is fine. It's the phone. It's the phone. That's the portal It's the Instagram. It's the, to you evil. You know, all, I don't want, I can't imagine, like, she's going to oh. have to go through high school with Instagram and, like, all of that, and I just, it scares the so shit out of me. So what about when you talk about, like, racy things? I know. Well, <laughs> well, Bill. <laughs> yes. What is that an issue with you? No. Yeah, but you think about it. I mean, I didn't think about it until someone brought it up to me, and I was like, hmm, but, what, but what would be wrong if she heard a discussion about no? Pussy here's the licking? thing. Why, okay, yeah, Why would no. that be? Let me tell you. I will tell you. My mother is the most open. Per my whole life, to a fault. Okay, she'll be like cunnilingus and like whatever, and I'm just, when I don't want to hear it, but. I think, and my daughter's obviously way too young now, but when she's of age, I want to have that open relationship to be able to talk about everything because how confusing is it if you know nothing? And like a, a safe space, just like everything else, I want her to be able to come to me with anything. You know, and you want to protect them. Like my mom put me on birth control when it was the appropriate time. It's just like certain things. What that, was the appropriate time? Well, 12, no. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. No, but I was young and, you know. Hey, 
It's and, you know, no, it's but better it's like to be, better yeah, to talk and be safe. Right. Condoms and this and that. If you have a boyfriend and but what are you saying about cunnilingus? That it's as long as you use the proper word, then it's fine. No, do you know I said that on the <laughs> Wendy Williams show? I used that word and they cut like she freaked out at her face when I said it. This was cunnilingus? A long, yeah, because I used the proper term. Because my mom. Whatever. What did she want you to be more guttural? Yeah, she wanted to be like fuck licking that pussy. Like she would have been fine with. <laughs> um, no, but because I said. That and she cut it out, and, it was, and her face was in such shock. But that just goes to show society. It's like, why is that considered a bad word? And what this point is my were you making about it? I don't even. Yeah, why was I even talking about it? Is really the question, and I can't tell you the answer because I don't. I got a question about yeah. it. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that we got on yes. the. I got a. I something. I, oh, you're a perfect one to ask that. I've <laughs> thought this for a million years. Uh oh. I never ever asked this of anybody. Okay. But, okay. So like. You know that thing they <laughs> say about a guy <laughs> doing the alphabet? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell he's doing it when he's doing it? When they get to and, P. And if you... <laughs> <laughs> no, really? No. No? No. No. You sure? I mean, I've Nobody never... Nobody can? I'm sure, so, you know, if you put it in my head, the next time it happens, I'm going to be paying attention. and like, all right, here we go. Next comes L. <laughs> right. And then, you know? I mean... <laughs> I, I've never, but if you're aware of it, maybe. Do you wonder that? Do you do that? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Oh my I, god! I never did that. I don't. I don't. Know. I never did the alphabet. No. I, I thought it was corny even when I was 25. But um, yeah. But I have heard that a million times about doing the alphabet. Now that you I just say wondered it, if for sure. there are some women who are yeah who are like who are like all right and they're <clears> just going along right, with them and they're singing it. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, yeah, imagine, Thanks, Bill. Next imagine, time, I'm just going to be in my head singing really the fucking alphabet. Bust the guy's ego. You'd start singing the alphabet. Oh, my like, God. Oh, boy, I really, I really <laughs> telegraphed oh that one. Yeah, and if they don't know that and thing. Also, if you better. could find out for what? me. Yeah, what else? Does it have to be the English alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> Because they I feel start like, doing like, the Hebrew. I feel like oh, well, Chinese. I mean, there's some very elaborate... Um, oh my God! Characters, I believe they're called. So in then Chinese. you're not now. It's not saying it. it's yes. The characters <laughs> like that, of like the, the Chinese thing alphabet. that looks like a, a little house would feel better on your pussy than a fucking it's so L. Details. <laughs> yes. They're like we're getting in all so, the little so detailed. <laughs> all the little nooks and crannies. Looking good is at the top of my list when I go out from casual daytime strolls up to my basketball court to going to an actual NBA game. And then something more annoying than changing clothes all the time for different activities. And that's problem that Roan is solving for you. Men's closets were due for a radical reinvention and Roan stepped up to the challenge. Roan's commuter collection is the most comfortable, breathable, and flexible set of products known to man. And here's why. Roan helps you get ready for any occasion with the Commuter Collection, which offers the world's most comfortable pants, dress shirts, quarter zips, and polos. You never have to worry about what to wear when you have the Roan Commuter Collection. Roan's comfortable four-way stretch fabric provides breathability and flexibility that leaves you free to enjoy what life throws your way from your commute to work to your 18 holes of golf. With Roan's wrinkle release technology, wrinkles disappear as you stretch and wear the products. It's that easy. Roan is 100% machine washable so you can ditch the dry cleaner altogether. And even after wearing Roan all day, you still feel fresh. The commuter collection can get you through any workday and straight into whatever comes next. Head to roan.com slash random and use promo code random to save 20% off your entire order when you head to r-h-o-n-e dot com slash random and use code random. It's time to find your corner office comfort. I'm here to tell you about Dr. Squatch. It's a soap, not a monster roaming the woods. If you try Dr. Squatch, you won't be going back to traditional soaps. Dr. Squatch is all natural and the scents are incredibly pleasant. Dr. Squatch is different than traditional soaps. Dr. Squatch is special because it is made with high performance natural products, have no harmful ingredients and have you looking and smelling your best. Right now, buy three soaps and get three soaps for free. That's $28 in savings, making each bar for four bucks. Offer valid for new customers only and free shipping is included. Right now, Dr. Squatch is offering my listeners a huge savings. 
All new customers will get three free bar soaps plus free shipping with any purchase of three bars. Just go to drsquatch.com slash random to receive this buy get three, get three offer. That's drsquatch, D-R-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H dot com slash random to buy three soaps and get three free. It's time to get all the daily routine essentials you'll need to start feeling good and smelling like a man today. Well, let's make sure your kid doesn't hear this show. Oh, my God. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not allowed to hear this show. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like there's certain things I don't want her to hear until she's older, obviously. And even now, <coughs> friends of hers can Google my name, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, what's going to come up in the Google, you know, alert, right. quote, whatever. I'm just going to have to cross that bridge when I get to it, I guess. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a big thing. Because, first of all, I mean, nine, whatever... Whatever you're talking about, the kids already know, and they're... I had this conversation recently. My I mean, friend's 11-year-old boy, we talked about it on the show this week, or whenever, uh, it was like, um, clap it out. That's what they call sex now. <laughs> clap it out. I don't get That's it. That's what... <laughs> I don't. What do you mean you don't get it? Clap it out, meaning what? That's what they call sex. I know, but why? Listen. <laughs> what? What do you mean? What? A, what is... They're like, oh, God. They're like, you know... When people are having sex. Oh, it sounds like clapping. It sounds like sex. It's like when you're, you know. Okay, you're clapping. The boy, they're like 11, and Genius. that's what they're saying. <laughs> They've really come up with it now. Yeah. Yeah, clap it out. I know, I had to do, I was like, what do you mean? They're like, clapping. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Clap it out. They have all the terms keep changing. I don't know. I yeah, can't keep up. that's like the least one that bothers me because it's not really well so that's the fact that 11 year olds and they're not doing oh. it but they're talking about it is more the point than what the word is right and they're talking about it in a way that is <laughs> not romantic but i mean <laughs> well it depends who you're asking i'm sure clap it out yeah i mean it that, that doesn't bother me it doesn't bother me um yeah uh, it's just that, that they're very but, you know and asking questions about <coughs> They, All those they do amuse me the way they will like change something ever so slightly and think that they invented it. Well, that or that the old way is so, so horrible. I mean, we say fire now, not hot. Oh wow! Oh, right. That what a what a leap you made. <laughs> what a <laughs> what a monumental. Yeah. I know. Um, There's subtle changes. It's just, but every I mean that again is a huge thing that's going on now. And it's kind of always gone on, which is generations think that they have to, for their own identity to mean anything, it has to be very different or even better the opposite of what the people before. Right. And that's where you get a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> because if you combine that idea with parents who have given their kids no boundaries, mm -hmm. then you get like... Um, more kids transitioning younger mm -hmm. than any other country in the world. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're all worthy of it, but we're, we're going a lot faster than even other liberal countries think we should go. And that's, that to me, that all comes from like, mom and dad think people are male and female. Right. <sighs> Gross. Right. So we're I'm gonna... fluid and I'm, and you know, I mean, there are enclaves in like around where we live where it's almost like uncool if you're not fluid. If you're if you're just a heterosexual, it's right. just uncool. That's just a I'm not saying there isn't a, such a thing. Of course there is as trans, but like there is that element. Right. And that I do think comes from we just want to be different. Yeah. You know what? My parents liked Israel. Uh, I'm with the people who keep uh, women in burkas. Cuz I'm a liberal. Right. It's like are you fucking nuts? Right. And I think it just comes from, I don't really know anything because they don't teach anything in school, but I know what the opposite is. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. And my, I don't really have to look it up because mom and dad told me I was a genius and I always got trophies. So, uh, you know. I know everything. I know everything. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, p people who don't agree with me are committing violence. Right. <laughs> right. You know, and I, you know, I'm like biting my tongue a lot because it's like, so you can't say much about any of this stuff, but. I think with anything, and I'll just leave this general, with kids, whatever is popular or a trend or whatever can catch on like wildfire. Especially no on TikTok. Right. Which 
I think a lot of the kids are just constantly. Constantly. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not on TikTok, but I know people, you just get on there and it's just like constant and looping and can't stop. They'll never stop read a book again. Never read a they fucking will. book again. A book. Oh, I love I, books. Me I love too. love real but... books, you know, not a digital book. But yeah, I, I think that that's just the day and age that it is now. And I think that they're just, you know, learning from. What do you think media. about like some of these uh, cases? Hmm. Of like where a woman, you know, got a guy canceled. No. Getting canceled for for what look? What she said. What look, sounded like is, she called it out. She said this was just a bad day. act or something. Well, I mean, a woman wrote a. a what did she blog. write again? Because I don't remember exactly. It was something well, about giving him a blowjob or something. No. It, well, yeah, there was that, but it was a whole block about how she was. I mean, she was, you know saying I was abused in a way. I mean, it was, a, it was and, and Barry wrote the, the original piece in the New York Times, uh -huh. uh, which just said, no, this is, was a bad date. We've all had bad dates. And then I remember doing a long piece on it in my last stand-up special, because it was just perfect comedy fodder, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know him, I wasn't out doing it to defend him. We have no relationship, he seems like a nice guy, and, he, and, and he, she was right, it was a bad date. Like, you know, all along the way, she was, it, and this is her account, by the way. This is not his, right. this is her right. account. Is you know, we went to dinner, he ordered a kind of wine without, he ordered the wine without consulting me on which one. Okay, kind of a dick move, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, and you could leave, you know, or you didn't right. have to go back to, you went back to his apartment. Right, didn't have I remember I said, he's there. five foot four, I don't think he dragged her. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, there was oral sex and like he didn't pick up on the signals and the signals, you... you, you like she didn't it, actually say no? Right. I mean, he should have picked up on the signals was the gist of it. You know, like, okay, but anyway, so, and there's been other people who have been uh, canceled, same thing, or gotten a lot of shit because women, uh, I think Shia LaBeouf, went out with a uh, pop star named FKA Twigs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember reading her piece. Uh-huh. And... And she claimed he was... Well, I mean, a dick, and I think even he would say he's a dick. Isn't right. he a dick? Like, I mean, <laughs> he's, he's, I don't he's, know. He seems to be the even aware that he acts he, like a dick. Right. Okay. Uh, actorly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and she described, you know, he, he I think vent me over the car once, yelling at me and stuff like that, which is horrible behavior. Yes. But you could then just go again. And she even says in the piece, like, uh, I had a townhouse in London. I could have left any time. And I thought, and then why did. am I reading this? Right. <laughs> right. Why am I reading this if that was the case? Well, God, you know... I mean, you can't say anything if someone is a victim of whatever. You can't, you can't say anything that goes against whatever they're claiming or their, you know, their experience. But I am right? saying it. But you <laughs> I'm are. Saying it. I'm you saying, are. I'm saying there's a there's, yes. a there's a point where the woman has complete agency, right? And I shouldn't be even aware of this thing because. You had it within your power. It, it, it's different if it goes to he locked the door. Mm -hmm. Then you're then I'm with you. Right. Or he held me down. Right. But if it was like um, he wouldn't let me have male friends, again, on you. Right. At, at the that's cost just of control. I mean, that's, that's right. And that's, but it's in the, you have the choice to not. Right. That's feminism. I'm powerful. Right. I have the choice to go. I can't have any male friends? Oh, well, I'm going to have one less now. Bye. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yes, of course. And in, in, in a lot of cases, there is the option to leave some. Some there probably, you know, there's other well, cases again, there if, isn't. Well, again, if you, not everyone has a townhouse in London. Right, yeah. So why did the uh, marriage, for, I mean, the non-marriage <laughs> fall apart? I mean, alleged, was it just the time thing? Um, Time. Time, you know, things happen, things change. Uh, it was, 
it was like it was difficult. There were many difficult things, and but like, what's the secret? Like, what what are the people? Or is it just their nature? I guess it's probably just their nature. The people who do like, last, last, yeah, uh -huh. um, and seem to be happy. Yeah. Um, I mean, everything. Every marriage, of course, is going to have its bumps and its troughs. Sure. And I, I actually know very, very few marriages of any length who won't admit to having, uh, you know, a right. very almost make yes. or break moment. Right. Right. Yes. Where they did break and then came back. Yes. And, you know, even in my long term, there was like a little separation a little earlier on and then back together and right. then having a kid and then, you know, just different. He's, he was from a different place and like wanted to spend more time there. And just like sometimes things just don't. Exactly. Gel. Well, we'll say. And things change. Things change. You know. Yeah. I, uh. I always think of the dragonflies that used to be right over that pool, um, over there, over the <laughs> pool, and um, I guess we killed them all like we're killing all the species, because I don't see them very much anymore, but I remember there was, they were like from the 80s, one was like electric blue, like yeah. Michael Jackson's jacket, and one was like um, orange, like, like neon -y orange, not Trump orange, good orange, <laughs> and um, they would fly always in these pairs and they would zig all around and they would stay in tandem. And I thought, well, that's what you have to do if you want to uh, stay in tandem. You know? Yeah. Like when, and that's so hard to do. It's so hard to because, do. Because. And especially when, you know, people and the work that we do in particular, it's a lot of time away and whatever. So if, if things, if there's differences, what it, it just creates even more sort of separation because of the amount of time apart due to work and whatnot, you know? So it's just. And we're not living on the prairie anymore. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, I mean this. But if we were, I'd be manhandled. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you certainly would. Yeah. Maybe too much. Maybe a little too much. You don't no, we be... aren't living on the prairie. And so there's just so much stimulation. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and again, like we were saying before, the more lovers you've had, mm -hmm. the more each is just numerically less unique. Mm. You think so? Well, I, just numerically, that has to be the case. Okay. Like if you've had two lovers, <laughs> the, the second one, you know, it's like, you know, it's half your... But if you've had a hundred, yeah. you know, even, oh, obviously some of them weren't <laughs> great. <laughs> but... Um, Do you have, like, let me ask you uh -oh. as a man. Yep. Now we're going to have to you. cut out this part. Like, I can just feel it coming. That, you know. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. <laughs> Rachel's going to go, oh, I'm going to get him back. I'm going to get you back. Okay. That's right. No, but, like, as a man, because I wonder, right? Because, like, you feel like, <laughs> are there, like, standout experiences with a woman that you're like, oh, that was really bad? Yes. Sexually. Of course. But, like, what makes it bad? I think different things Okay. In, at different points in my life. I don't think okay. the answer to that um, There's not like one. was the same when I was first having sex mm -hmm. as it is now. Mm -hmm. um, what made it bad then? Um, she laughed when it only lasted a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it made bad. You know, that's not a problem now. Uh, she laughed. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay, <laughs> laughing was a, got it. Well, I'm just saying yeah. things change so much. Sure. But what makes it bad? Well... Not everyone's a great kisser. Right. I mean, kissing's a big deal. It's a big deal to people who care, who think it's a big deal. I think, Again, I, yeah. on the spectrum, there are right. some people who don't care about kissing. Right, sure. Or, and and um, I think if you care about it, you probably are good at it, but it just, yeah, that would make it bad. I mean, that- The bad kissing. Or they not don't being kiss able, Not like being able you. to incorporate kissing into yeah, the like <clears throat> love-making symphony right. before and during. Right. Okay, that's fair. You're lucky after. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, see ya. All right. That was great. Bye. <laughs> no. But uh, so that's like something. And then, of course, it's really <clears throat> how much somebody's into you. Okay. It's mm -hmm. not like a literal, like, anatomy thing. It is not an anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I stand by that statement. No, it is not a 
<laughs> totally an anatomy thing. But anatomy does play a role. Right. I don't think you get just even get into bed with somebody unless you kind of like their anatomy. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. But some anatomy you might not see before you're in bed with them. Correct. <laughs> so. So you go to strip club. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you do it. <laughs> we have it all figured out. No, I think, you know, if you pass that barrier, yes. <laughs> <laughs> not got into bed with someone who's not attractive to you, <laughs> then I think it's really, you know, love is sometimes uh, in opposition to lust. Mm. Uh, I, For example, I think um, I like you mm -hmm. is hotter than I love you. Really? Even though I, I love you is deeper and yeah. more for love. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I love love. <laughs> but, like, I like you. That's hotter than I love you. Because I love you is like, it's better, but we're past that point where it's just sort oh, of so like you've gone back. animalistic. Oh, okay. So you've it's, said the I love you, but you've now regressed to no, I like you. No, I'm just saying, you in general, during yes, sex. I, even after you say I love you, yeah. you should say I like you in bed. I like you. It's just, it's like, it. it's just. What's better, I like your dick or I love it, no, it dick? No, because it's more honest. Like, like, like is like, love is complicated. Yeah. Like is not. It's just, not complicated. it's just hot. It's like I'm, nice and cozy. What is? Like. Oh, it's hot, sorry. It's, hot. it's fire. Maybe this is a man, woman. <laughs> Maybe this is a difference between men and women. No, I'm like, like, I'm like, do I want to hear like? But look, it, it depends on who you are sleeping with. So, you know, nobody ever said, I like you, like, first? Before I love you? Yeah. Every guy just jumps to I love you. I don't know. Seriously? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I like <laughs> you. Uh, yeah, I think people say I like I don't know. I'm not trying. <laughs> so, I'm like, I'm trying to think. I mean, it'd be a little, I feel like it's a little weird. Not weird. I don't want to say weird, hey. but it's a little unusual. But we don't really know what's usual for other people. Well, that is true. That is very true. Maybe you're unusual. I am very unusual. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't I know. I feel I like you is a fairly com common <laughs> phrase. I'm like, I never hear that phrase. Among, it's really weird. Among, I don't know. <laughs> who doesn't say that at some yeah. point? It's interesting. That's the word I want to use. Yeah. I like you is interesting. It's more interesting. Then I love you. Because I love you is like, I fucking love, like that is deeper, that is something, but like, but I like you I love you is also the one that unfortunately gets so overused. I mean, people say it, some people say it literally every time they speak to somebody. It's and, at the end of every two right. minute phone call. Right. It, it's just, you know, yeah. I hear people on the plane, I used to, love you, love you, <laughs> uh -huh. love you, like all. You're like, I think they get it. <laughs> And do you, I, you, I feel like you maybe don't use I love you lightly. Is correct. correct? She shouldn't, <laughs> right? Should right, you? no. But I mean in relationship. No. And, you, and also, the other thing about love that's fraught is that it's got so many different meanings. I love that table. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. So then you love a, that table, then. Right, right, that's a long way from I love you meaning, oh, this is when we start talking about marriage. Oh, that's geez. What it, that's marriage what it, has to come with love? No, I'm saying to a lot of women, <laughs> yes. That means, they, okay, next is the ring. Correct. Oof. I don't know. Oh, come on. No, I know. You're right. I was oh. thinking personally, I just had a moment of, oh. like, you know, yes. introspection for a second. Yes, this is. Yeah. No, I, I, you're right. Yeah. It goes from I like you <laughs> to <laughs> I love you. To I like you again. <laughs> to, <laughs> uh, well, then, if you can, in general, retain. Uh -huh the things from when you were courting yeah. after you're together for real, uh, you're doing yourself a favor. I support that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I yeah. genuinely uh, do. Um, yeah. I, I, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. I think is to keep the flame lit. You know, there's security. And no, there's... you're totally right. Because I'm thinking about it now. And like, I like you. It's very like sweet and complimentary and it's a little different and that's why i say interesting is the right word because it's just like no it's it's, it's sweet that it's it's for it's me it's cave like manny that. it's cave manny yes it's like just saying what you the vocabulary honestly was think limited? like i don't i'm not saying i fucking love you yeah but we're fucking now and i like you <laughs> <laughs> every caveman it's, it's like is what they would say it's like 
<laughs> no woman is thinking, oh, he doesn't mean that. They're thinking, oh, he, he means, <laughs> he I, he means must, I mean, I think he really does like <laughs> you know, me. He, <laughs> <laughs> it seems like he likes me. <laughs> he's showing me he likes yeah, he's me. He's showing me he likes me. We're back to getting he's manhandled. Back to getting, <laughs> he likes me. That's all it is. Exactly. If he didn't like you. It would not be happening. You would not be being manhandled. I mean, you would be being weekly <laughs> serviced. I'd be getting the alphabet. <laughs> not the alphabet. <laughs> the English alphabet. Poor guy gets to G and it's like, oh, oh. you know what? I got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> this isn't happening. Where is this going nowhere? Okay. I've learned a lot. I, I, <laughs> I have too. <laughs> Oh, good. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well. But yeah. No, it's interesting perspective. And you've answered a lot of questions for me that I've often pondered. Right. You know? About. Oh, I, I, <laughs> <clears throat> I ponder these things, too. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because you're right. It is so hard <clears throat> to cross the divide between, I guess, us heterosexuals, mm -hmm. you know, um, because we do have different chemistry and hormones and things like that. So for sure, you have to like ask the questions, but those are not the questions you're supposed to ask. You know, I mean, another thing that atrophies in mm -hmm. marriage or long-term relationships is communication. Yeah. It's not just the physical part. It's the fact that when a guy wants to have a real deep conversation about what's on his mind or what's going through his, he goes to the bar with the guys. Right. And he talks to them and it, because he can be completely himself and right. honest. Right. He doesn't do that with the wife because there's too many, they've had too many fights. Mm -hmm. They had, they have, there's too many little landmines <clears throat> that you know if you step on. Yeah. So you can't like talk about your old girlfriend or something. Right. You know, so you wind up petting the pet yeah. <laughs> instead of the spouse <laughs> right and talking mm -hmm. the two th great things in life fucking and talking <laughs> you're doing with other things right that poor dog that poor <laughs> dog how are you though with communicating with your partners fucking awesome <laughs> i'm a talk show host for 30 years i'm awesome at all it. i do is talk what, what do you what do you mean how well, am no, I? Some guy, with feelings or whatever let's say that because you know you're not much of like the long-term relationship guy so if you're dating someone, how are you with feelings like the I like yous, I love yous, and whatnot? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you're saying. I'll tell you what the answer is, I think. I mean, I don't put a time thing on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and relationships sometimes do morph. Yeah. But if it's built and <clears throat> built on honesty and friendship, mm -hmm. then people don't get mad. So it doesn't matter. What 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 makes women mad not. is lying. Yeah. Well, yes. I would say that's absolutely accurate. Right. Yeah. So it's amazing how much goodwill you can buy mm -hmm. by never being a fucking liar. <laughs> Even if it's not what they want to hear. Correct. Yeah. Pride the great thing about being my age right now yeah. is that, I mean, I have a built-in excuse for not being remotely considered for like a long-term, lifelong thing. And your excuse is? I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Okay. I have no memory. I, 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 you know, I'm not going to be around for the long you know what I'm saying? Right. So you've made it to this point where now you're like, hey, It kind of works for me. It works for you. Because. Why change now? You're like, well, because I was always trying to, like, find a way not to <clears throat> be married <laughs> and succeeded. You, yes, I would say you did. You seem mad at me for this. I'm very mad. No, I'm not mad at all. No, I'm impressed. You stuck true to yourself. Well. But You're a good example at, for like staying. But look at all the people who. You didn't do anything for anyone else, is the point, right? Because I'm sure there's women that would have wanted that, and you were like, no, I don't yeah. like you. Well, I, 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 
had much love in my life, but it did not, I, I never understood why would I like make this something that the government would be involved in if it fell apart. That yes. lawyers and yes. um, what, it's like in my love life, mm -hmm. I'm going to invite other people in my love life? No, right. no, no. Yes, I... And it's unpredictable. It is unpredictable. Uh, and so let's keep it... Uh, that's probably why you never got married, right? I'll tell you this. You didn't want to make it... I, yeah, never got married. Or did you married. want to get married? I mean, we were engaged at one point, but never married. But this is how I look at it, especially now in my life and everything. If I ever get to that point with someone where you want that kind of commitment, I would rather have a party, a ceremony, whatever, but none of the legal shit. Like... No marriage, no official, you know, because that's just papers and like government and whatever, like you're Papers saying. that caused you a lot of misery later. <laughs> Not, they could. <laughs> if they were just papers, it'd be fine. It'd be fine, right. But, but yeah, I'm a big fan of like, let's celebrate. Like, let's be committed. Let's wear the ring, whatever you call you, my hu blah, blah, blah. But we don't need to do it the legal way because that's just, I don't know. I guess I'm more of like a romantic in, in that sense and just like love and all of that. Uh. See, I think I'm a, I'm the romantic because <laughs> I refuse to have a life that doesn't have real romance in it, and I feel like if I was married, my life would be bereft of romance at this point, as it is in lots of the marriages I see with the dog on the lap. The fucking dog on the lap. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's a mean, lot of dogs on laps. It's just alphabet three friends. times a year and the dog on the lap. I just, to me, that was not the life that I wanted. That was not what you wanted. I feel like that's fair, you know? I mean, so, that's all you're seeing. So what... What? So now, <laughs> what? <laughs> so what? What is your idea like? What if you could paint your your Hallmark Channel um, <laughs> <laughs> like perfect? Yeah. Like where your life is now, where it's going. What would it be you know, romantically? Romantic. You know what? This is really interesting because I was always thought it would be like the traditional merit blah blah blah. Now in my life and having been. You know, single mom and with my kid for the past like six years or so, I invite a relationship that doesn't have to be conventional or traditional. Like if you have each other and you're committed to each other, but it's not the same like every day, in and out, routine, whatever, I'm so much more open to that and I never thought that that would be me. Are you reading my line? <laughs> This is, this is my Flashcards. <laughs> Why are you arguing with me if you're doing the exact same thing? No, but I, but I am willing to commit like long term and do that. I do like that. I like having someone, but they don't have to be there 24 hours a day, seven right. days a week. That'll ruin it. I, yes. <laughs> that's, I what think, I'm, that's what no, I'm trying I, to tell a, you. I'm, there was a relationship yeah. and then I always would think, how do they stay married? Because he was like you know, away for work two months and then home for two months. And I'm like, how do they do it? And now looking, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's why it succeeds. Yeah. Right. I mean. Because he was on an oil rig. Because he was on a fucking oil rig. <laughs> that was two month oil Days rig. Days of Shit. yore. Oh my God. <laughs> they oil were, rig. No wonder he manhandled you when he got home from that. I mean, that's And that's like, why it succeeded. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But as I've gotten older, it's just interesting how things, you know. Right. Things change. Well, I mean, there's that famous book, Passages. You mm -hmm. know, life is a bunch of passages. Mm -hmm. So each time you pass through a passage, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's going to affect you and your partner differently. Right. Like, what is this passage? And sometimes right. you go like this. Right. So to dragonfly it is like a, you know, it's it can happen. But it can. You, but it's it's. Uh, but it's you wind up extinct. <laughs> well, I don't know. Your dragonflies are no longer around. I know. I know. That's really sad. And I see bees walking. Bees, I know. I know. I see bees walking. There's it's nothing terrible. sadder than There's a nothing bee sadder than a walking bee. Walking? <laughs> it's like you're not going to get there, buddy. You're not. You know, he's walk. I assume he's walking over to the plant to then crawl up to the, and then come back to the hive and have to climb up the tree. A and really it's like long journey. Exhausted by the time he gets there. <laughs> Those poor fucking walking bees. It's really not funny. It's not I mean, funny. It's, it's like, really terrible. It's the planet, and we don't want to go there. We don't need to go there. No, it's a whole other. Thing. But it's just the. I can't take animal suffering. Like if I'm watching a movie. Yeah. With. People suffering, I'm fine with it. But animals. But, I, but what I, I can't even watch 
I've never watched what uh, King Kong because of a he's fake an animal fantasy beast. That's how, but ape oh, like he's ape. he's he's animal like. He's an, his Go, eyes. Godzilla. I don't Godzilla. See, I don't want to see Godzilla get hurt. <laughs> I don't. I know. I respect that. I get it. Um, the one Woody's in. What? Um, what? Planet of the Apes. Oh, okay. More apes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I relate to <laughs> apes. Theme. Is that a problem? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no, I'm with you. As a kid, I couldn't watch movies where, like, if there's like a battle and a horse goes down, I was out. Absolutely. Right? I have a real problem with westerns, I, yeah. especially the older ones, because I know what they did to yeah, make they treated to, the to, to make that horse go down. Yes. Yeah. I shot a show last summer where I killed a dog. It was terrible. I had a very hard time with it. I have real tears. What uh, what show was that? <laughs> it was a slot. No, I don't, what, fuck, what was it called? Oh my God. Well, that's my brain. <laughs> what was it on? It was, oh, <laughs> it was on Fox. Fox? Yeah. That's a big network. It's a big network that I should, Fucking be familiar with the, what the fuck the show is called. <laughs> what Shit. was what was the, the? It was like a different episode. Each episode was a different story. Oh God! But like, were they in the future? I smoked a lot of weed in my youth, Bill. I smoked a lot of weed tonight. No shit. <laughs> I'm high just from sitting with you. That can happen. <laughs> and it's actually quite nice. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck was that show called? What was it about? I, like, it, who were the people in it? Were they, they were, lawyers? Were they well, futuristic? Were they? No, there's different. It's a story every episode, and it's a different. And it's about like, oh, what? they all what? go to court for like a crime or something to see if they're innocent or guilty, and the accused. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Thank you. Oh, just that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, the accused. Oh my God. The accused. Anyway, yes, and I was the bad guy. Oh. Yeah, it was fun. When I Except for the dog. acting in the 80s, yes. I did a, some uh, two murder she wrote. You did? I so fucking did. That's fucking, that's pretty iconic. <laughs> and uh, one of them, was I the bad guy? No, I wasn't the bad guy. <laughs> Where, I was, oh, I did a uh, Max Headroom. I don't know if you remember oh, that. Oh, of course show. I remember really? that. Really? Yes. Okay, so I was the bad guy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I look back on my uh, acting 80s life fondly sometimes, but so glad it never went forward that I was saying to do what I was life. meant to. I need to watch that now. I want to watch oh, your yeah. episodes. Well, I did the, the iconic uh, P, uh, Cannibal Women and the Avocado Jungle of Death. Of course, everyone knows, um, of course. And I did Pizza Man. Oh my God. Uh, seven Academy Award nods. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's DC amazing. Cab. DC Cab, okay. That's a real movie. That's a, that sounds like a real movie. DC Cab is yeah, still very it. popular. I was just saying earlier tonight that there's a lot of classic movies that I've never seen. Like that just, is hardly a classic movie. Well, no, that's, I feel <laughs> it's, like it's a classic I, movie, Bill. It's, uh, to a lot of people it is. I mean, I loved <laughs> the director, Joel Schumacher, may he rest in peace. Oh. He was fantastic and the, the I love the people on it. Mr. T and oh, oh all, my God. all the gang. But, I, I got to say, after all these years, I just don't think it's a good movie. <laughs> it just <laughs> is not my kind of, like, if I wasn't in it, and it. even in it, I can't even watch it, really. You can't watch it? I, oh, I would never watch it. Can you watch, watch yourself? Do it's you, like, terrible. watch no, your shows or I anything? No, I should, but I don't. You don't. When it's done, it's done. When it's done, it's done, and it seems to be working for 30 years. I mean, 30 so years? What, what am I like going to fucking, The track like, record is, like, you're pretty good. Maybe it would make, years is and solid. Maybe it would make it worse. I'd get self-conscious. I don't know. I believe that. I, I, I once in a while will, I, you're forced to watch certain things, clips, and like you have to pick something for a promo reel or, so I do, you know, I can't avoid it completely, but no, I don't sit, I've never watched the show, like all the way through. Oh my right, God, no. right, okay. No, that I mean, you know, I think that's good. I only, I only look forward. That's anyway. important. I can't, uh, I don't get I back. any satisfaction out of Memories, even though like, they're wonderful. None. What? <laughs> Nothing. What? You, have, you have none. <laughs> your memories, you know. The pot, I get it. The pot or the age. Um, Take your pick. <laughs> no, actually, I remember lots of shit. Other stuff, I don't know. It is arbitrary, it seems, what your mind retains. Yeah. 
I would say that's true. I mean, I have clear memories of like little moments that are like, why did I remember that? It's so nothing. That is so true. For most, well, for me anyway. It's, I, yeah. I, yeah. And like movies, I don't retain things like that. But there's little things that mean nothing. Movies? You mean seeing movies or I making? can't retain either. I don't retain. No, if I watch a movie and it's been enough, like, you know, even a few months, I won't remember a lot of it. But you like doing it, right? Making them? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You look like you're <laughs> totally at home in your in, craft. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're very natural. Well, thanks for yeah. saying that. That's very sweet. So do you. You look very at home in your home. I. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have the, I'm not acting. You know, acting is. But you did in the 80s. I did. <laughs> no, yeah, but it's a lot. You're putting yourself out <clears throat> there every day, oh, all the it's time. Month, you know? Oh, please. I mean, don't have to convince me. I, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I was never really, I mean, <clears throat> meant to be an actor. It wasn't that hard to do the kind of stuff I was doing. I also did a bunch of sitcoms. Mm -hmm. To be a comedic actor, Yeah. Uh, I was very successful. As soon as I got out here, I landed shows and shit. But it was all on that kind of sitcom yeah. level. That's was, the best. Sitcoms are the best. It is gentlemen's hours. <laughs> yes. And it's not. No, I I was a happy boy doing that. Everyone kind of is. I mean. But that's what we all thought as comics starting in New York. We had to do. You come out here and you, you do, do the sitcom. Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, yeah. and then you do a sitcom, and it, like so. This was like the path. Right. I was on the path. Yeah. So you know, luckily the path. <laughs> ended <laughs> and kicked me out of it, and I you did what I yeah yeah path, I did what I was path. always meant to do. But um, yeah, yeah. You know, when you're young, it's so hard to like, um, well, really make anything? good decisions. <laughs> well, yeah, because you don't know anything. It, you really notice the older you get, you're like, oh. I mean, women mature much faster. Yes, very true. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to bite you on that one. That is very true. And how, how many? Years head start. What do you think women have? A man needs oh. to be on a par emotionally with a woman. Thirty-three. I say forty. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. funny. Uh, I don't know. I think you know it is very true, but it's re it's really individualized. I think, and I think some men, yeah, yeah. you know, can of get course. ahead, especially in certain areas. The spectrum. Spec once again, back to the spectrum. Everything is the spectrum. Everything is people, the spectrum. People are all over the spectrum. Yeah. Let them be. Let them be. Let them be. That's true. And accepting and... But it know. is the exception for a man to be... Um, yes. M ...mature in his certainly teens, 20s. Oh, yes. And then 30s and 40s, you, you're faking being mature but you're really not you're only, that's really when you're the most dangerous <laughs> oh geez yeah yeah i think you're right yeah yes you're think yes <laughs> i'm just gonna say yes <laughs> i've had a lot of experience yes. so i'm gonna say yes <laughs> yeah you have enough to be dangerous you do you, have, you yeah. know you no, have no. a car now and an apartment or a house you know it's just you're an just apartment well, whatever. Well, when I was in my 20s. Of course you have an apartment. You have an apartment. That sounded so judgmental. Like I was thinking, you know? Yeah. And then once again, I'll get fucking called out. Because like, what's wrong with the man and his whatever? having an, There's nothing wrong. Nothing. Maybe you're in New York City. Maybe you just want an apartment. Maybe that's totally all the money fine. I have to live. Exactly. I can't afford a house yet. 100%. Right. I like I, an apartment. I Cozy. mean, I wouldn't want to go back to it. But I'm so glad that I had to live through a period of my life when I was absolutely by any standards that we would measure it poor <laughs> like yeah. a poor person right <laughs> who survived on very little money and lived in shitty right. places not i wasn't homeless right but poor yeah and everything was decided by how fucking poor i was what i could eat oh. what jobs i could turn down yeah none you know <laughs> that's how poor i'm glad i had the experience right that's very good yeah <laughs> it's I very mean, good to take with you in your life. When was the OC on? What years? It's, we had our 20th anniversary. So you started in 2003? Three, yeah. Okay, so I was, 2003 was my first year on HBO. Okay. Real time, so it wouldn't have I missed have my chance. Out. But yeah. that, that show would have I could have come on pre-OC. Yeah. Just, well, that's you it. know, I would have found my way somehow. Well, you are, you'd be a good broadcaster. Well, you know, you're very you. articulate, you know, you, you like, 
poised. You know, you'd be good as you know, any kind of, I mean, I don't know if you want to do that kind of work, but it's I'm like still sitcom. Figuring out. I don't know what I want to do. You don't? No. I guess I'm doing it. I guess being But you like being on a set. I do. I love it. I'm just, I'm kind of being funny. No, I do. I love it. I love being on a set. It's been an interesting world opening up with podcasts and like actually interviewing and talking and you know, yeah. it's a different beast. And so it's been fun. It's Here's fun. what I remember okay. about acting. Yes. I did like, <clears throat> you know, nailing the close up. I guess every actor does. Yeah. Feeling like, oh, I got it. Right. Yeah. But I never was, um, I guess, smart enough back then to really um, embrace acting. I didn't want to acting class or anything. Mm -hmm. Like, if you asked me to do, if we did five takes, I'd do the same thing five times. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? yeah. I, I was not at that other level where, where they can go there. And it wasn't my destiny, so that's okay. But I remember liking that. What I really hated was makeup on my face all day. Yeah. Sitting in trailers. Yeah. Trailers. Yeah. Like, who's in trailers? People well, who actors. live in trailers <laughs> and us. <Yeah. laughs> it's kind of fucking crazy, right? You're in a trailer. In a trailer. And also, like, not being able to really relax because the lines would, you don't want the lines to go out of your head. Mm -hmm. I remember <laughs> a lot of times, I, you know, you're concentrating so much and then you do that close up and then you have to turn it around and do the scene for the other, the other person. person. And Would even though I just it did in? it, no, like now I'm, now I can't remember the line. Oh no. Even though I Because once you did it, you're like, it's done, it's gone. Sorry. I mean, I got through it, but like, yeah, I was fighting that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. But that makes sense. I think. I, but I, I never liked that feeling of, I can never really, let go, even though they're going to keep me here for five hours without doing anything. Yeah. There is the other side of it that people don't, I mean, people talk about it, but like people don't know when they just fantasize about making movies or TV shows or whatever, it's just the time there is, it's a long time. A long time that where you're not doing anything as well, is what you're talking about. You, ha you have to really love, it's a little like skiing, you know? Like, do you love skiing? I would never been on skis and have no desire to do that. But, <laughs> um, but I know that it's a lot of like Michigas to get back up the hill. Yeah. For just two minutes. Of, yeah. And then like an hour later. It's a really good to, analogy. Yeah. Yeah. And acting as I remember it, and I remember John Cleese once said, "It's like waiting." I think it was John Cleese. He said, "Making a movie is like waiting in an airport for eight weeks." <laughs> That's actually, yeah, that's actually kind of accurate. And you can't, but you don't ever want to say, you know, it's again, the gratitude you get to do it. And Absolutely. No one's holding a gun to our head. Right. But that is definitely something that made my life so much better when I um, was not an actor and was doing first Politically Incorrect mm -hmm. and then this real time because they were all done in real time. So... You know, yeah. that one was, you know, five days a week, so I had to get makeup on. But it was for, you know, I had makeup on for an hour. You right. Know, it was a half-hour show. And it, I like that the makeup is really what stuff it is. I do, really do not <laughs> like, I don't like anything on me. You know, no jewelry, no, hmm. you know, chains. or <laughs> Chains? Were you, like, considering rocking chains? Or... No, I mean, maybe this, maybe it's why I never got married. I don't you didn't want to wear a ring. Know, you know, or doctor, ball and chain. <laughs> Doctor, do you think? Oh, yeah. Doctor, do you think what? I don't know. I was just <laughs> pretending you were my psychiatrist. Not that I have a oh, psychiatrist. Oh, I thought you were actually a medical doctor. And I was oh, like, what? No. I see we're moving I something. Don't, I don't like... <laughs> do you have a, Do you go to therapy? I had a therapist for like a few years, and she retired, and it was. I had a really hard time with it because I really liked her. You know, mm. I think. And she was hired. Yeah. What do you mean? Hired Re and then retired? Retired. Yeah, okay. retired. Sorry. She retired. She retired. She was hired and then right. retired. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. But I loved her and it was my first experience having like a relationship for a few years and it was great. And I'm a big fan of therapy and I think... Oh, you really? Yeah, 
Yeah, if you find the right person that you kind of, you know, I am a believer that if you want to talk to someone, go for it. Like, but like, I'm. I'm you've never been in therapy. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, you're not a fan. I'm not a fan. Yeah, which is respectable. I mean, yes. I get it. I yeah, get it. But, but that doesn't mean I don't acknowledge that it does good for a lot of for people. For sure, I Absolutely. just always wonder. Like, you strike me as somebody who's. Like, must have great friends. I do you, have great friends. Okay, why don't you just talk to them? I do, all the <laughs> I know, time. But what's the difference between them and the... I will agree with you, because particularly... I'm just asking. No, my best friend who does the podcast with me, Olivia, like, she has now, since <laughs> I don't talk to my therapist, I literally, she gets everything and gives me maybe even more than I ever had from anyone else. So I agree with you on that. And I'm not a big pusher, like... Therapy, 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 but I, I do think it can help, and I, I think it's not something to be, it shouldn't be taboo or, like, whatever. It's not ta taboo. Well, it's people, quite the opposite. No. You're the weirdo out here if you don't go. <laughs> out here, yes. Really? But, but yeah. like, some people are, like, embarrassed, like, oh, they're going to think I have issues or whatever. But everybody's fucking issues. What? Yeah, if they're in therapy. What year is this? No one, no one thinks that. <laughs> <laughs> no one thinks that. It's... It, it's, I think there are people that could think that. I'm not saying, but I, I, I think that it can. Nobody you know. No. Not even me. Not even, even you. Don't, and you it, don't even believe I in it, it, and I, you're still. Uh, but if it works for you, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a you're whatever all works for you. Of course, of course. Yeah. Spectrum. <laughs> I'm just, I was just asking a, yeah. a, a honestly curious question, which you did not answer. What was the question? The question is what is this, the for therapist providing that the other, that the friends are not? Right. Well, my answer was, I don't know that okay. they did or were like. Oh. I, you can't point to one thing like, oh, you know, everybody else missed this, but the therapist pointed out. I will say I, there were there were like sayings, you know, that like little tidbits that I would get from her that I really liked. Not to say that my best friend doesn't say them, maybe just with different wordage, you know, verbiage, wordage. Verbiage. Did I make up a word? Verbiage. Or maybe I would have made up a word. Um, but. <laughs> Yes. So I, 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 yes. But also, I think it's more the taking up the time of your friend who's like kids and busy and whatever. So if you just have that other person to yourself that like, that's what they do, right. you know, maybe that relieves some. Yeah. You know. Well, and also there must be a different mindset because you are in a place of business. Right. Although my best friend is also like a life coach. So I guess. It all folds into one. Yeah. I'm sorry, Olivia. I mean, <laughs> I just never could imagine. So you talk to your friends? I talk to my friends. Yeah, sure. About oh, everything. Everything. Yeah. Sure. But even they are, are not going to come up with probably a better answer than I am. That's the old thing I could never imagine with a therapist is like, okay, one of us knows Bill Maher really well. And I think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and yet here are you, right. stranger who don't know all the, I have all this knowledge about me right. that you don't have, but you're the guy who's going to. But certain best friends might, because they're on the outside, be more observant of things that yes. you might not think about. Absolutely. And, and I also acknowledge that that person can be, that can be an advantage, is that they're not, of course, in your head. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, especially at this point in my life, yes. you know, if you got to 67, yeah. you probably, first of all, are not going to make fundamental changes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I said it all. <laughs> Perfect. Cut. Cut. Club. All right. Uh, I'm going to let you go. That was fun. I. Immensely, yes. I knew I would. Oh, this was great.